And here we're going to specify our routes as a constant, pass in our app as the parameter, and then we want to use app dot route and here we want to pass where our product database is so we want to use slash products and then we want to use our get functionality and we want to pass in our get products function or controller and then to add a product we need to use our post method and include our add product controller. And then we need to use a different route for our delete product controller because we're actually deleting a specific product. So what we want to do is specify app dot route. And then we again want to use slash products, but we want to delete this single product based on a specific product ID that we specified here in our route. And underneath this, we can just use our delete method and specify our delete product controller. And then we need to export our routes using export default routes. Tap here for more.